hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel and guys in today's episode basically this is what we are going to design a beautiful church flyer in photoshop and at the end of this tutorial if you are able to watch the tutorial from beginning to the end this is the bonus you are going to get this gsd file sorry this mock-up this is the first mock-up and this is also the second mock-up so if you watch the tutorials from beginning to the end then this and this likewise the psd files for this is going to be a free package for you stick around and let's watch let's walk through the tutorial step by step and then get the password to extract all the files and then practice it for free likewise the mock-up as well so without wasting much time control and to open a new document and this is what you get if you want you can go to this side let me just close it you can go to file and then sorry file and then what and do what that is new that is control and to open a new document and then we are going to use a preset yes you are going to use a preset if you want your preset you can go to add an illustration just pick 2000 by 2000 and then just like that but i've already saved it over here i've already saved it over here yeah i've already saved it over here therefore i don't need to go through the process of everything so that is it 2000 by 2000 and then just give it a title church flyer all right so church flyer and everything is okay it's basically for social media handle so i'll click on create boom so this is the nice interface and then i'm going to start working with the all right so you are going to work on the background so i have all these resources file including the images and other things so i'll just drag this nice background into photoshop and always wait for it to load yes guys always wait for it to load so please whilst it's loading please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know anything any question that you have for me just drop it in the comment section below and then we'll quickly come and attend to you right so hold shift and then scale this side to cover here and then scale this side to cover here and then hold alt again to scale it to cover the entire screen press enter and then let's right click and then rasterize layer go to filter go to blur and then gaussian blur and blur it 20 pixels and i think that is awesome all right so this is awesome then go to adjustment layer go to solid color and pick a solid color closer to blue something like this is awesome something like this is awesome click on ok and then check your blending option yeah let's check our blending option and then blend it together let's test our blending option and then check it together and i think something like this is great something like this is great okay so the blending option was vivid light you pick a vivid light and that is it and then let's see we have the last background we need to um bring okay so this background is also drag into it and click on okay and then boom hold alt to scale it up to cover the entire screen press enter let's check our blending option and then we pick something great so something like this is okay and then let's reduce the opacity to somewhere 40 and uh, 40 should be somehow okay so everything in the group control g and then call it the background all right so we are done with the background then we are going to bring the logo yeah we are going to bring the logo so i'll drag the logo inside boom and then that is it i'll just push it using push it up like this then go to this side and pick this rectangular marking tool and click it select this side and then ctrl j to duplicate it double click at the edge here and select color overlay and pick color white awesome awesome 
awesome so this and this control g and then call it what logo thank you all right so we are done with the logo to as well it's also successfully imported and that is it now let's go to view then go to guide and new guy layout and set here to six set here to five click on ok and that is that now we are going to start working with the text t on the keyboard or come and hit here t and then click anywhere and write your sunday yes and then click enter ctrl t to select it and then hold the edge here and scale it up nicely like this scale it up nicely like this and then you position it at the center and great 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 hold alt and then drag it down like this nicely and then type double click it inside and select a sorry type service awesome so that is sunday service and then you scale that down a bit yeah it's still big or oh, okay still better click it this way and then the sunday we must adjust it to be in line yeah that is why we brought our guide so we make sure that everything is in line and push it uh, closer like this so select the two text and then scale it sorry 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 select the two text control t yes then select them and then you can scale it down a bit and push it up something like this is great press enter perfectly so this and that in the group control j and then call it what team all right so team is also done which is this and then the next thing is that we are going to bring the images yeah we are going to bring the images and for the purpose of tutorials this and this are the two images i use so i'll just drag them and then put them there nicely i'll select the two control t and then reduce the size a bit yeah reduce the size and push it down yes push it down and let me just bring this one here and then position this one here for the purpose of tutorials that is why we are using the images yes we are using the images for tutorials only we don't intend to communicate or to mislead the general public so you are hereby advice yes thank you so then the next thing is that we are going to work with the names yeah we are going to work with the names and t on the keyboard hit here and then start typing the name so um esther smith all right so that is it that is it we are using 15 and then the font is yes this is the font i'll leave the link in the description for you to download them yeah i'll leave the link for you to download them and then just push it to this side push it to this side and let's see the size here to be zero ah uh, better still you can just adjust it this way and then close up here perfectly t again on the keyboard and then type with and then with the width we are going to use taking by watches taking by watches alternative d regular and then increase the size to 20 perfect 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 and then push it to that side yeah push it to that side push it to that side so this and that selected just drag it this way and then position it here yes position it here and then the this name let me hide this the width first and then go and pick the um, pc and then come and select the down one just edit the name and bring the width back awesome awesome so this 
and that all in a group becomes name and image name and uh, images thank you so that is it let me zoom it a bit to, for you to see it clearly you see everything is okay everything is okay yeah everything is okay everything is okay so we pick the um, rectangle to and then we draw a nice rectangle to cover this side awesome to cover that side and then we make sure it exceed a bit here to exceed a bit and then the color we are going to give it is color blue yes color blue then we add layer marks to it then we pick the brush to um, go to brush size yeah and then we are going to use a soft round brush we are going to use a soft round brush and that is it let me just increase the size a bit and then i will just clear here sorry my foreground color should be black yes my foreground color should be black then i'll just click here and i'll click here so that it will blend with the background yeah to blend with the background and then i've already typed the details here so i will not worry myself to go and retype everything or bring every just do them yeah i'll just pick everything here and push it to the side and then i'll just introduce it here boom and then that is it that is it that is it that is it so that is that yeah that is it i'll add this to it and then control g and then call it what the text yes the text and guys this is it this is it this is it this is how we're able to design this awesome church flyer in the photoshop then we are done we are not done yet drag this and then release it on top of it and then we just do our magic yeah as we always do okay and then scale it up to cover the screen press enter sorry just scale it up it has already been scaled so just position it at the screen press enter and then let's see our blending options and i think the blending option was something like this yeah soft light yeah something like this something like this and guys this is how we're able to achieve this awesome jet flyer and i believe if you have watched up to this point you have seen the password and that password will be used to extract this to extract this and when you use it to extract all the files you get this psd file inside you get this mockup and then this mockup as well so please stick around i have a lot of tutorials for you in which you can learn from so stick around subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell so that you receive any update whenever i post a video so that you will practice it first and post it on your social media handles guys i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial until then i'm out bye for now